Hi everyone, this is Jimmy. Today I'm bringing you another Stormax Mod Kit tutorial. How to generate a new character on the map. Now let's begin. Step 1. Rig the new character to the game skeleton. In this tutorial, we'll use a new skeleton character as an example. First, export the base humanoid skeleton from the game. SK Man Zero One Morpher. This Man Zero One skeleton works for both male and female characters. If you want to replace a creature type character, just find the corresponding creature blueprints. Next, import the FBX file into 3D Max or another rigging toy. Make sure to select Leave as Born during the import setting, so you'll get the base humanoid skeleton and the reference character. When replacing a new character, make sure the character's polygon count doesn't exceed 100k. Now import the replacement character. You only need to import the model file from the new character. If the model is already rich, you can import it to match the pose. If it's just a model, it's recommended to use the A pose like the game character. Here, I'm using a free skeleton model from Sketchfab. It's small and in the side pose animation. So I scale it to match the game's character size, delete the skeleton bone and reset the pose. Then I match the pose of the game character and skeleton. Normally, you'd use the new character with the game's A pose. But okay, I'm being lazy and just use the skeleton pose. You'll notice that the skeleton's arms are shorter than the game's models. If the proportions don't match, adjust the new model to fit the game's skeleton. Also, align the IK after matching the skeleton. Then it's time for skinning and weight painting. Okay, I skipped this part too. When skinning, you don't need to bind bones like pouches or skirts if you don't plan to use them. Just don't add extra bones that don't exist in the game or it won't work when imported. Once skinning is done, delete the reference character and export the FBX. Now we will import the new character back into the mod kit. Make sure to select Man Zero One in Skeleton. You might get a warning about missing bones, but that's fine, it's because we didn't reach some bones. Success! The character is imported. <laughs> Step 2 Use Character Blueprint to set up the new character. First, use the BP Bulo Base Blueprint as a template to create a new character blueprint. For male characters, inherit from BP Bulo Base. For female characters, inherit from BP Bulo New Base. After placing the new blueprint in the mod folder, change the mesh to the new skeleton character. The shared animation blueprint for all humanoid characters is ABP Anime SK. If you modify this, it will affect all humanoid NPCs. You can also create a unique animation blueprint for the new NPC character. Just replace the animation blueprint in the mesh component. Here we are sticking with the default animation blueprint. Let's test the new character in the map. By setting the spawn character as a skeleton, great, the character blueprint worked. Step three: create mod config and sublevel for spawning the skeleton character in game. Besides loading sublevels, the mod configure blueprint can also attach actor components, merge or delete data tables, configure runtime rules and more. In-game, the main level is called Level Zero One Man. We'll use it to configure sub-level to spawn the new character. Go to the main level and find the coordinates where you want to spawn the new character. Here I load some basic levels. The gameplay sub-level lets you view all spawner locations. This time we'll spawn the new character at the base of the Sabertooth Predator Pyramid. Here I place an empty actor and copy its coordinates. Then let's open the previous created sublevel and paste the coordinates onto the temporary empty actor. You can also use the map marker feature in game to check coordinates. Next, create a new MP spawner named H Shuang Guai Qi Ren NPC. Drag the NPC spawner into the sublevel and set the skeleton character's spawn data blueprint in spawn monster class. Oops, I've got to create the character spawn data blueprint. That's why I can't find the new character. You can find the character spawn data blueprint base as SGQ Bulo base. Then copy it into the mod folder. Now when I check the spawn monster class, our character data blueprint is there. The NPC spawner can also be configured to set the spawn count, range, time, and more. Once we've finished configuration, we can enter the character spawner blueprint. 
It's really powerful. You can configure nearly all the MPC stats, including appearance, name, tribe, status, proficiency, body size, muscle status, facial features, skin color, hair size, initial mastery, decorations, and other traits. These can be fixed or randomized combinations. For detailed information, you can check out the tutorial docs on our Discord community or fandom so much wiki. After configuration everything, let's test it. Awesome! The spawner works! Time to package and upload. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. What do you want to see in the next tutorial? Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to join our so much more dedicated Discord community. Thank you.